Glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> Just what my mom used to say. So your test results came back. Have you ever been in the military or undergone any behavioral therapies? Well, one of my exes tried to put me in obedience school. Does that count? Back around 2020, a controversial therapy was developed, initially to help victims of trauma. It was known as a trance inducer. Nanites were used to target specific memories, blocking brain signals, essentially erasing the traumatic memories. The military started to use it to treat post-traumatic stress, but then they and other government agencies discovered more off-label purposes. And somehow it's ended up in my system. Whoever injected you coupled it with a verbal cue, a trance key. It's a phrase spoken to trigger a response. To restore your memory, you need an antidote serum known as a trance interrupter, and then the trance key. Well, I appreciate the info, Doc. Now, at least I know what I'm looking for. That's the bad news. But if you get the serum and your key, your recall should be strong as ever. Will I be able to play the piano? Forget it. You'll need your trans key to restore your memory. And the only way you'll find it is to get it from the person who injected you with the trans inducer. I have no idea what the trans key might be, of course, but it would likely be a short, fairly unique phrase. I've checked around and it's not stocked by any medical facilities. I've dealt with many cases of amnesia, but nothing exactly like this. I believe he runs a diner over by Telegraph Hill. I don't think you could do much better. And yes, I mean that the way it sounded. Before I return to say Sen, I'll need a laser blade to cut Bowers free the trance interrupter serum and its trance key phone message waiting phone message waiting phone message waiting mr murphy please tell me you have news about mason he's being held at a place called say sen which is some crazed cult where the lunatics are in charge i'm not going to alert the police because they might dispose of mason i think i better handle this myself but why would you put yourself in so much danger. Because someone's taken seven years of my life from me and I want it back. If there's a way I can discover what happened and somehow restore my memories, I'll take that chance. Well, I hope you do get that chance. My name is Thompson Alt. I'll get back with you soon. Good luck, Mr. Murphy. Well, these baseball cards may open the drawer in Mason Bauer's safe. Not again. You're going to get me fired. Or worse. I don't know if this has anything to do with this trans key you're talking about, but after that 48 Pandian flew off, I circled back. I took a quick look around and saw a fresh hypo on the ground along with a few cards. I grabbed them. If you want them, just don't tell the cops I gave them to you. You think we got something that expensive here? And you know you got to have a license to carry one, right? Look, I have one of my own. I'll give it to you. But only if you swear that it squares us up.
Before I return to Seisan, I'll need a laser blade to cut Bowers free, the trance interrupter serum, and his trance key. Man, this is a nightmare. I fly back to the beach house to see if the cards Mason had on him can be used here. When I arrive, there's a familiar face waiting at the door, looking for an update. You found Mason. Is he okay? Well, physically, but mentally he's had a taste of his own medicine and doesn't suit him. Where is he? It's a place called Seisan, and I can't tell whether he's being held for his own protection or against his will. So, what do we do now? If we don't know why he's there, we shouldn't get the police involved, right? Yeah, these boys play for keeps. I'm afraid if we uh, break in on him, Mason may disappear for good. You said you don't think he knows who he is. What does that mean? He's been shot up by something called the Trance Inducer. And if we don't get Mason's memory back, all three of us may be stuck at this dead end. I'm so grateful you're doing this. I don't know who else I could turn to. I still care for Mason, but we haven't been close in a long time. You seem so tough and self-reliant. Well, being a PI is a very rough business. Isn't the rough business always more exciting? Maybe when Mason is back to his normal state and out of danger. Look, I'm no hero. I'm doing this to get my memory back. But perhaps later we could talk about this. Perhaps it's so full of possibilities. Is there a more intriguing or tantalizing word? Uh, perhaps. But right now I've got to find something to help me get Mason out of say sin. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, Tex. I've got to go. But you know how to get a hold of me if there's anything you need. I don't get it. I just don't get it. These women, why are they interested in you? Maybe you need to get your optical sensors checked. Yeah, between Ariel, Taylor, and the look Mojo was giving you, I'd say losing seven years has done wonders for your charisma. Hey, have you considered wiping a few more? Oh, and that was a nice cat suit, by the way. Can we pick up one in my size? This must be the trance interrupter medication. And there's only one dose. These four of clubs cards were found scattered all over the alleyway by Zack after the abduction. I think Bauer's trance interrupter key may be the phrase four of clubs. How are you today? How's everything going here at the camp? Four clubs. Four clubs. Four clubs, Mason. Come on, come on, wake up. Come on, don't be deaf, dumb, and stupid. Please, Mason, wake up. So, that's it. Come on. Come on, come on. Tex, where are we? Good, you know me. Now start talking while I cut you free. Is that the trans interrupter? What have you done? Brought you back from zombie land. These guys wiped your memory. No, they didn't. I did! What? Why the hell would you do that? Oh God, now they can find out everything I know. How could you do this? Oh, well, maybe because I want my memory back. Your friend said you're the only one who could help. My friend? Yeah, the one who came for the cryo chamber. So he has it. The cryo chamber's safe? Yes, he has it. So where do I get more serum? There was only one dose and you're safe. And what the hell's my trance key? Margaret injected you. She's the only one who could have helped you. Yeah, and she's dead. And I'm pretty sure her head was the main ingredient in that soup can of yours. Why'd you cut off her head? I didn't. It was Maldonado. I, I don't think I could have done it. Yeah, well, don't mince words. Because it was your idea. 
Margaret double crossed us. She came up with her own plan, but I think we stopped her before she could give it to the translator. Well, you don't come across as totally insane. She knew things, but she'd given up hope. However, some of us still believe. It wasn't fair for her to take those things to the grave. And I have the technology to tap what's inside her memories. Even after death. Well, I stand corrected. You are insane. You were in on it with us. We were all looking for the Tesla egg. But you're the one who found it in the wall of your apartment. I was still working from the inside, letting you all know what the translator was doing. By then, Margaret had stolen the egg and disappeared. I was afraid she'd switch sides, so I heard Maldonado do surveillance on the Ritz, hoping she'd show up. Yeah, and she did. She and that big mutant came by and injected me. I caught up to her at the door of her apartment. All I wanted to do was talk, but she clutched her chest and collapsed. Dead before she hit the floor. Decapitation was a last resort. So when does the abduction come in? I called Maldonado just when the translator's henchman arrived. Maldonado brought the cryo chamber while I created a diversion. While they were chasing me, he did the deed. Then I used the transinducer on myself. We'll rendezvous with my friend. We gotta find that egg before the translator does. All right, but let's swing by and get your wife too because she's been worried sick about you. My wife? I don't have a wife. Very good, Tex. You continually impress. The cryo chamber. It holds your answers. Don't let him find it. Welcome back, Tex. You certainly have a gift for making things interesting. Yeah, it's a gift that just keeps on giving. I assume you have no idea who we are. Well, let me just save some time here. I have no memory of you or anything else since this bastard here shot me and my girlfriend seven years ago. Yes, Margaret made sure of that, didn't she? Willing to die just to keep you out of the equation, undermining me at every turn right up until the end. I need to know one thing. Did you kill Chelsea? You could say that. Don't move. It's a long story, Tex. Maybe some other time. Just tell me what happened to Chelsea. Dalton, would you please answer Tex's question? My pleasure. We'd stolen your speeder, of course. After I sedated you and Chelsea, you were taken to a place where we could search your memories for leads to Margaret Leonard's whereabouts. When that failed, I staged Chelsea's death, attempting to draw Leonard out of hiding. We left identifiable DNA inside your burned-out speeder. Which, incidentally, was uninsured. Leonard didn't fall for it, unfortunately. Eventually, we let Chelsea go, and I never saw her again. This was all before I returned. I've never seen Chelsea. I haven't seen her either, as far as you know. So what was Chelsea's connection with Margaret Leonard? It doesn't matter now. Margaret's dead. Just like the man I used to be. And you are? I am the translator. Is translating your profession or a hobby? It is my mission and my destiny. Well, I guess that makes a million and two questions that I have. Everything would be a lot easier if you just unlocked my memory. I would if I could, Tex, believe me. Unfortunately, Margaret took your trance key to her grave. What? I'm supposed to believe that I'm on your guys' side for whatever's going on here? That's right. We're all in this together. We're united in a common goal. It was a goal Margaret and I used to share many years ago. But she lost hope after I died. You're Joe Hansen? Margaret Leonard's husband? The FBI agent who stole the Tesla cash? I am. And I did. But when I learned what we'd taken from Tesla and buried in our vaults, what amazing technologies he had to offer the world, it became my dream to complete his work. 
But then I was diagnosed with terminal cancer. I had little time left, so we decided that I should be preserved in a cryogenic state in hopes that a cure could be found someday. But now you're here alive again, so who's the one who brought you back? Margaret refused. She said it wasn't safe yet. I tried to pressure her and she disappeared. In the end, it was Mason who completed the reanimation. What was it like? Indescribable. I saw eternity. And I returned with a renewed sense of purpose. I finally saw the true vision of Tesla's work. So if Mason brought you back, why did he turn against you? Margaret can be very persuasive. I think she convinced Mason that my work was too risky. But she couldn't convince you, Tex. Uh, I'm a little lost here. Why do you need me? Margaret held one last piece of the puzzle. The Tesla egg. It is the nucleus of the atom. Without it, the spirit radio has little effect. But with it, the veil between living and dead will vanish. And we will all exist within the immortal coil. We have work to do. You're free to go, Tex. These guys must be playing some kind of mind trick on me. This has got to be a setup of some kind. Tex, buddy, I'm afraid I haven't been totally straight with you. But over the last seven years, you have become a lying, womanizing, duplicitous, two-timing cutthroat who plays both sides against the middle for money and is partners with the gentleman who just left the room. I thought you could just walk away from the person you'd become, but I see that fate may have something else in mind. 